Hello everyone and welcome to a Windows 10 how to get rid of these nastiest memory leaks. I'm going to teach you a few things about memory leaks and a few things that you should be disabling on your system on Windows 10, of course. Now, right now you see in your task manager, if you don't know how to get into your task manager, I'll show you real quick for you. To get into your task manager, when we first just get rid of that, just of course, get to your task manager by going to basically right clicking uh, anywhere that's right, right, right on your task uh, bar, which is this. And you go to task manager. Now this what brings up a guide of your memory and your CPU disk usage and network usage. I'm not going to go over the CPU usage and disk usage on that. That's will be in a different particular video, but this should be fixing almost everything on your PC that is Windows 10. So, as I was saying, you're going to look at your memory and you're going to figure out which is using your memory. It's going to be either one of these local host services, which is a very hard to get rid of, or it's going to be a local host service network or something like that, which is another thing, a couple of things that could be it. Um, don't worry about disabling anything that is in your local host system. I know there's probably some geeky people that will say like, yeah, but it's really bad, you should have blah, 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 blah. You know, this worked for me and my system been running perfectly fine uh, as you can see that it should look like this for your local host services basically or service host local system or whatever you want to call it um, now the big deal is if you're getting a memory leak in this particular part is because you have IP helper on which is the only thing that I found that was having a big giant memory leak problem. It didn't have that problem about a few months ago. It did not have that problem, but apparently it did for this particular month. Anyways, I'm going to show you a couple other things that you would be able to disable and you should disable because it basically runs your Windows 10 system down. Um, now, when you find your memory leaks and you should write it down and whatnot but if you see any of these random applications that are giving a memory leak and whatnot you should update them if you update them it will get rid of that memory leak or it will not it depends on what you do with it um, also it depends if you did this particular thing that, I, that I'm going to show you in a minute that would be cost no or no I don't skip that particular part where you want to go is right now, particularly when you first get your Windows 10 machine, you're going to go to services. I mean, well, I mean, well, not when you first get your Windows machine. You want to do all the updates and get your antivirus system and stuff installed like that. So you're just going to go into services and you're going to, um, it's not going to look exactly like this. So start with like A all the way down, basically ABC order, um, which is fine but I put it as what's running uh, on a Mac and what's going on because I can basically show you guys real simple and real easy to what to disabled. Now if you want to optimize it for just for gaming, just strictly for gaming, you want to disable all of these that I show you right now. I'm going to point out a few that you need to disable because it will cause memory leaks and it will cause fur further more problems that on your PC. So. You want to get rid of IP helper, which is right here. You want to get rid of that. That is a big problem for some reason for this particular month. I didn't have that problem for a very long time, but IP helper, some reason, has a big memory leak. Don't know why. It just needs to get rid of it. And all it does is just enables you to use IPv6 transmission technology, which is fine in, in some sense. But if it's having a memory leak problem and it's slowing down your system, it's not helping. So you want to get rid of that. Um, the next thing that you should get rid of is super fetch. You want to get rid of it because that has a memory leak over time, and it will just it will just either crash your machine or uh, or give you a blue screen. It's not helping with your machine whatsoever. I don't know why Microsoft even picked that particular thing in the system if they're not going to fix it. Um, now the rest of this it doesn't really matter if you want to optimize for gaming. That's fine. Uh, I do have you can get rid of the Xbox stuff if you want to because that's just extra stuff I do have an Xbox and I do sometimes use this so I don't, haven't got rid of it yet which is fine with me 
the rest of this stuff you can get rid of and whatnot. Now, I'm going to show you another thing that you need to be careful about because if you basically mess this up, it can cause a very big problem on your PC. I would definitely recommend you to um, uh, to uh, back this back back it up basically before you do this. You're gonna go in Reg Edit. Uh, don't be afraid to go in here. It's perfectly fine. You, you're not gonna destroy your system unless you follow my steps. But if you don't follow my steps and you change something on here that you shouldn't have. It will definitely mess your system up. That's why I suggest you to um, make a restore point before you even get into here. Now, where you're gonna go is you're gonna go all. I mean, it'll. it'll I'll show you what it will look like before I do anything else. It will just look like this, particularly like that. I will. But you want to go into your H key local host machine, which is just your machine, basically. Um, now you want to go to system, which is right here. You're going to go to control set 001, which is this right particular right here. And it'll bring down another tree. Then you're going to go to services. Now we'll bring it. Now what you're going to look for is NDU. This is a system where it basically has a memory leak on that particular part, and you cannot disable it from anywhere else. But you have to disable it here particularly uh let me see let me see where is ndu oh, i went a little too far up they're too far down ndu right there ndu now what you gotta do is all you got all you have to do if you have a mouse pad or if you have a, uh, a a mouse that clicks you're just gonna double click it and you're gonna change this right here it will be it well it's four for me but because i already did this but it will be either a two or it would be a three. You want to make this as a four, so it will be unusable. And you just click OK. Now the next thing that you do need to um, that you do need to get uh, to disable is the super fetch, which is still on here apparently. <laughs> I mean, it's on um, not on my system, but on the uh, on this particular tree area or red edge it registry ed red registry editor where you want to go is just oh sorry where you want to go is a uh, control set control and then you're going to go all the way down to session manager and after session manager you're going to go to memory management and then you're going to go to um I think it's this one, right? No, that's not that one. You can go over here. It's called Pretch pre, pre, the so it's Prefetch Parameters, which is just another word that you don't want to whatever, which is so bullshit. Enable Prefetch pr uh, Parameters, which is just telling you enable it. You're gonna double click it, and you're gonna do exactly as this zero, which is basically just disabling it. It will. It's not going to be used. Uh, the only reason that you use NDU as a 4 because if you put a 0 sometimes it will go back to 2 which is some stupid reason I don't know why but sometimes it does that so that's why I put a 4 where it's just unusable it will not it will not go back now uh, this will be the end of my video of making your Windows 10 a little bit faster with these memory leaks are gone uh, now, if you want me to make a separate video talking about making your Windows 10 a little bit more capable of gaming and making your desktop a little bit more pretty and a little bit more, you know, just normal stuff that I use for gaming, uh, put comment on below. And also, if you have any more problems with memory leaks or anything like that, particularly, uh, comment on below too. And now, if you, oh yeah, when you're done doing all this changes restart your machine it'll restart up and then you just type in your password uh, this particular area should only show um, right now it's going up it has nine local services which is probably Windows 10 just shut down one because it's not using it uh, but it will only go up to about about 20 megabytes and that's how the highest it will go maybe go a little bit higher than that but that's basically the 
where it needs to be. Um, when it first started, it will probably go up to 13, but then it will gradually go up a little bit. Don't worry about it. It will just stop at like 20 megabytes, which is fine. Uh, if it goes higher than 20, if it goes all the way up to 40, then you still have a problem and you just have to figure that out with these memory leaks. But this is the memory leaks that I had, and I, hopefully this will help your uh, uh, system will be a little bit faster and a little bit better. Um, I would uh, I would definitely make another video later about how to make your system more gaming capability. But other than that, this is the ending of this particular video, and I hopefully you guys have a good day, and hopefully this um, guide helps you in some sense. Bye-bye. <laughs>